Hey guys, hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here. I'm sitting outside just uh, doing some studying here in a workbook that I've got called Discipleship Essentials. And um, the reading for what I'm doing right now is from Ephesians chapter 4. And um, I don't even know where it's going. I've actually only read the verses that it asked me to read. I haven't gotten to a single question uh, that it asks yet. So I don't know if this is where the author is going or not. But something has struck me uh, as important for us to consider as believers in Christ. And so, um, huh, yeah, it, it's just it was very powerful for me. I'm reading it and I'm going, man, that just makes so much sense. So I'm going to read it to you. Um, basically, it says, if I can find it here. Uh, so it's Ephesians 4, chapter um, chapter 4, verses 25, and um, I'll go straight through 27, right? So it says, therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor. Okay, that's cool. For all members of one body. Well, that's also cool. It's too bad the church is really broken up right now and disagrees with one another and argues about non-salvation doctrinal if, uh, uh, issues and stuff. Really need to be unified, but... That's not what really struck me. Um, Here's what struck me. In your anger, do not sin. That's cool. Do not let the sun go down while you're still angry. Now, I've always read that section and thought, man, that's about, you know, the last argument I had with my wife. Make up with her before you go to bed. Right? Don't don't sleep on it. Don't let it fester. Um, You know, and so it is a... Uh, you know, work on the details, work on the fact that you guys are arguing or with a friend or with a coworker or with a kid, you know, one of my kids uh, who are grown, by the way, now, but regardless, they're here. And uh, so I always just thought that was that meant to solve it now so that it doesn't um, sit overnight and fester. Well, here's what the next verse right after that says, or the, the, the rest of the words in that sentence. Um, so it says, don't let the sun go down while you are still angry, comma, and do not give the devil a foothold. Interesting. So, the foothold, the unforgiven uh, offense that you receive, is actually a foothold for the enemy to tear apart your life, to slowly kill you, if you will, from the outside in, the inside out, however you want to look at it. And I said, well, you know, I, I can't really stand on just the fact that that verse says that it's not really healthy to come up with a concept on that. But I remember that when Paul wrote, a lot of times he would say something, and then he would repeat it again uh, a little bit farther on in the writing in some different words from a different context. He'd hit it from a different perspective to get the point home. So if I jump down um, to verse uh, 31 and um, 32, here's what it says. It says, Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Well, there you go, stating the basics again. And then it says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, comma, forgiving each other just as Christ God forgave you. So there have been things that have been done to me in my life. People have offended me. People have stolen from me. People have done things that are wrong to people that I care about, let's say. And I get angry, and I can get angry for a very long time. But I remember that Jesus literally was forgiving those who were incredibly mean to his mother by torturing him in front of them. And even worse, incredibly mean to him by killing him. They literally beat him to a pulp, ripped him apart, and killed him on the cross. And his exact words in that place right then and there was, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. I feel like that's the the reason that this verse is here. See, the devil gets a foothold if we hold on to it. It starts to build. You've heard of the root of bitterness, right? Something that lands in your heart that gets you uh, just so worked up that you can't actually see the kingdom of God working in your life because you're so bitter and so uh, bothered by something. Well, what about this root of anger? If it sits overnight, if it sits for longer than a couple minutes, if you don't have the spirit of forgiveness all over you for the people around you, doesn't mean that you don't hold people accountable. doesn't mean that there aren't consequences for what people do. If somebody steals from me, I'm not necessarily going to open all my assets up to them again immediately. That would be bad business, and then I'm not caring for my employees in that perspective, right? So there's common sense to be used in it, but the attitude of forgiveness is supposed to be immediate. That's hard. I don't know about you, that's really hard, right? It's really easy to hold on 